continuing our discussion of reversing tools, we really need to look at a very old debugger and a very common debugger. And that is called GDB, the GNU, GNU debugger, which is found normally by default on virtually every Linux system that you might install. It has some nice features, but it's not normally the best for reversing. It's geared more toward doing some debugging on an application that you're developing. So it likes to have source code, but it doesn't have to have source code to be useful. It does have some other nice features, such as the ability to support remote debugging. That can be great if you're looking at a different architecture. For example, I do a lot of work with the BeagleBone and the BeagleBoard, which are small computer systems that are based on an ARM architecture. So it's very convenient for me to be able to debug an ARM device from an Intel or AMD desktop system. It is available for Windows as well. There are some GUI front ends that are available for it. However, it's primarily a command line tool. If you don't have it installed, you can probably install it using your package manager on Linux. Or if you want to run it on Windows, you can do a web search and you can find it there. In order to run GDB, it's pretty simple. You just type GDB and you're running GDB. Normally, you could attach to a process that's running or you could give it a file such as an executable and it would allow you to display some more information. Another tool is IDA Pro. Unlike most of the tools that we've mentioned, IDA Pro is a commercial tool. It's not free. So if you're doing a lot of reversing, it might be something to consider. However, if you're just getting started with reversing, it might be a little bit to swallow the price. So if you go to hexrays.com, you can search for IDA Pro. It's under products. So I'll go here. And they will tell you what is IDA all about. It's a professional tool. So it has a lot of nice features. It also runs under Windows, Linux, or Mac. And it is a multiprocessor, disassembler, and debugger. So it supports an awful lot of platforms. So if you wanted to, say, debug a phone, you could use IDA Pro for that. Now, there is an evaluation version that you can get. And there's also an older free version. The free version is many versions behind and it does not support Linux or Mac. It's a Windows only application. So if you look at that one, it will look very similar to some of the other debuggers that we've displayed here, but it won't be exactly the same. And it will have some more features if you buy it. Another closed source debugger is made by Microsoft. It only works under Windows, and that is called WinDebug. WinDebug is available for free, however. If you go to msdn.microsoft.com, E-N-U-S, Windows Hardware, and then HH852365, you will find a download for the Windows debugger. You can also do a search. And you'll notice it is often bundled with the Windows driver kit, but it is available for a separate download. So you can go ahead and download that debugger all by itself. You have to scroll down a bit, but you'll see where you can get the debugger. So for example, here you can get that debugger for Windows 8.1. So just keep in the back of your mind that this is out there. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to discuss some more reversing tools.